Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a while back, I created a custom web page on my Ultra 96 to track the arrival times of the trains in my local stations here in New York City. I got the idea after I discovered that the MTA actually makes the real-time Google Transit feeds of all of their trains and buses available for the public to use, with of course certain conditions as outlined and linked to below. My goal was to create something that minimized the amount of time I spent inside train stations given the current environment. As a New Yorker prior to the events of 2020 though, still the most frustrating part of my morning commute was when I would walk into the station right as the doors were closing on the train I needed, which because I ride the C train in Brooklyn meant I was waiting another 20 plus minutes for the next one. Since the Ultra 96 has established itself as a permanent fixture on my home network, running other various web pages that are mostly SDR related, I decided to add another web page that I could pull up on my phone that queries the real time feed for the AC and E line, then parse out the specific alerts and tracking information for the sea line. This would make it to where I could time when I left my apartment to match when the next train would be arriving in my local station. With the web page running on my Ultra 96 on my home network, I also wanted the capability to access it when I'm not at home to help me time my walk to the train station on my return trip. I accomplished this with a simple port forwarding setup of the Ultra 96 on my router. After several trial runs, I got an intuitive sense for how specific time values represented physical locations of the train. For example, countdown times less than one minute meant the train was either rolling into the station or currently sitting in the station, while negative valued countdown times represented a train that was pulling out of the station or a little bit of ways down the track. I also found it handy to use while riding the subway as well to see what time I would arrive at my destination. Because the Ultra 96 queries the feeds at each page request, it takes into account any delays popping up on my current train's trip, and the countdown times will update accordingly. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching to see this project in action. These projects are a ton of fun to create and it's really awesome when they turn out to be just as practical as they are fun. Check out my project write-up on Hackster.io linked below for all of the technical details and stay tuned for future project in action videos. Bye guys!